Hi right guys, I'm just going to quickly go through a tutorial on simply how to upload um, or create an album within Google Plus. The reason I made this video is because somebody was asking um, in the Google Plus help community and I just thought the easiest way is just to show. So, here we are on my Google Plus stream, the homepage, whatever. Um, we're going to go here and we're going to go to photos and we're going to click upload photos uh, you can click to open from a file browser and um, that's just one fine way of doing it um, the way I like to do it though is here is a folder on my computer it's normally my desktop depending on what I'm doing um, I'm just gonna highlight them I'm gonna drag them in and there we go we got a uh, nine photos I think it was and I think the problem the well, was how do you name the album, how do you create this album um, rather than just add them to the album so here we got we can add the Paris, New York or Vegas or here we got new album name random stuff okay so we've now created a new well we're, we're going to create a new album with these images in it you can move the images around um, it makes a difference what order they're in but if you want a particular image to become the like cover photo, um, all you do is if you hover up around the left hand corner here, you get this little blue, blue um, like almost a bookmark it looks like. Um, click on that and the bookmark appears there. And just to show you, it doesn't matter which one it is, I'm going to set this one as the album cover. I'm going to click on done. It's going to I'll turn on face recognition. If it recognises the faces here, it will automatically drag them over here and suggest some names for you. But otherwise, sorry, click them and you can add a tag to them. I'm going to skip tagging. Uh, you'll get shown a share dialogue. You can share the images if you want to, but you haven't got to. If you're going to share them, you know, say public if you like, or your circles. Um, and click share so you could also add a comment to that as well um, towards the top which would have allowed you to but like I say you haven't got to share it you could just press skip sharing on that one and you would have made the album but anyway if I go to my albums now here you'll find there you go random stuff with the Moto X phone that I said should be the cover you can click organize if you decide that is no longer for you want to be the cover let's say we want this down Vader one we go to the towards the left hand corner of the image again press done and the new cover for that photo album is now the Darth Vader one um, you can share via a post as we did before highlights our album um, or another way of sharing without um, creating a post um, and the reason why you do that is when people visit your profile um, they can look at your photographs without having to go through and, um, and and look for your post. And the way we do that anyway is we say you're not shared. Um, it's saying there, share with circles. Um, I don't know why it's saying not shared there. It might say share privately is what I was expecting to see. Um, or, or publicly. Or privately publicly is what I think you normally see. You can add people here, so let's add a person. Um, let's add friends. Um, I think I could probably add a person as well. Yep. Yeah. So there we go. I've added a person, and when I click save, something else you can do as well: disable reshares, which prevents those people from sharing the pictures in that album, which is great for privacy. When I click save, it's going to ask me to share, uh, give me a share dialog so it puts a post up on, on Google Plus. But I'm just going to cancel it. But it'll, those will remain um, there. And the idea is that when you, like I say, when you visit somebody's profile, or go to their photo section, you'll see this. Um, and depending on what you've shared with them, what a, a person has shared with you, um, will depend upon what you see. So. 
Right, so that's it. That's um, creating an album and a few little um, tidbits around sharing and what have you. Um, hope it was helpful. I'll speak to you again soon.